back to the channel of Pro Enzo Vids and this afternoon's video is my round 25 NRL tips for this weekend. So uh, yeah, as the season gets a bit closer to ending, uh, I'm sure a lot of clubs are playing for either just uh, good results for their fans or some clubs are playing for a genuine final spot and some clubs are playing for a, you know, a top four spot. I'd say um, Storm, Panthers, Roosters are all locked in for the top four, but that uh, fourth place is so open towards Sharks, Bulldogs and Manly. Even Cowboys, but um, yeah, I think it's just one of those things where it's going to be really close in the end. But uh, if you're new around here and uh, you are a new viewer to this YouTube channel, please be sure to uh, subscribe and like this video too. And do comment your tips in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, let me know who you're backing this weekend. And uh, yeah, sub um, subscribe as well because um, yeah, I guess my current goal is to get to 4,700 subscribers. So yeah, um, that's my new current goal. So I do hope I get there. Um, by at least the end of the month, which I think is possible. So, uh, but most of all, um, do enjoy my tipping video more importantly. And uh, here we go, round 25 tips. So on to the very first game. It's the Luke Brooks Cup, if you want to call it that. It's the Tigers uh, versus Manly at Leichhardt Oval. So uh, yeah, obviously I'll be there on the Thursday and looking forward to my um, third ever time at Leichhardt Oval. Looking forward to being there. I will say it's a bit like Brookie, but obviously Brookie's better. Nothing comes close to um, Brookie, of course. But uh, I'd say in terms of atmosphere-wise and how the fans get behind their team, yeah, it's uh, wild, but like it's good, though. So, um, yeah, I'm no, looking forward to it. But, uh, yeah, obviously a game that Manly have to win. I know Tigers are not in the best position, but Manly can't get complacent because I think that's the fear I have anyway. They get a bit complacent, but I'm pretty sure the boys will turn up on Thursday. But um, the teams are both sides. So for the Tigers, it looks like they've got... Adam Dewey out with a knee injury, and Luke Lally is out with a head knock, I think. So that means Salomona Alamalo comes on the wing, and Junior Tupo comes in for Adam Dewey in the centres. So I believe that's the only real changes I can remember for the um, Tigers. And for Manly, uh, a couple. Uh, Tommy Talao's out this week with a peg injury, so that means Toddy Collar goes from the bench to the starting centre role. So, yeah, what a great replacement that is. Um, and then, yeah, Carl Lawton's back from a groin injury, so he starts in the back row with uh, Ben Javoyevich to the bench, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much the team right there. Um, all right, my tip for this game, pretty straightforward. Manly to win. I'll go Manly to win 13+, plus, but I am worried Tigers can uh, start well early and get in our faces, because recently the Tigers have been putting in some good, some good effort. Uh, may not be winning every game, but they're definitely giving it a crack, so I hope Manly just... Yeah, up for that game, and uh, if we win, well, definitely uh, locks us in for the top eight for sure, like for four, four, for sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, Manly to win first try scorer, Jason Saab, and any time try scorers, I'll go with for the Tigers, Charlie Staines, I guess, and for us, I'll go with Turbo. Okay, on to the very next game now. The first game of two on the Friday, it's between both the uh, Warriors and the Bulldogs at uh, Mount Smart Stadium. Actually, no, I should not call it Mount Smart or Go Media. Uh, it's called the Sean Johnson Stadium, so because th this will be the last time we see SJ play at um, Go Media Stadium. So, yeah, look, uh, pretty emotional time for SJ and for the Warriors uh, faithful as well because, yeah, obviously SJ means a lot to the Warriors and yeah, what he's done is just incredible for the club over the years. And, you know, I guess he's never won a premiership, but, like, in terms of being an absolute um, champion and a well-known player amongst um, the Warriors sort of area, like, yeah, it deserves a lot of credit for what he's done for that club especially for the good and bad times. But, um, yeah, Sean Johnson Stadium, the Sean Johnson Stadium, that's right, I'll remember that. But, uh, yeah, look, obviously, for the Foot Bulldogs and how they're going so far, going really well. Uh, beat the Dolphins last week in a, yeah, close game for a bit, but then they blew the Dolphins out in the second half. As for the Warriors, well, they're unlucky against my boys, Manly, at four pines. So, uh, yeah, look, in the game, def defensively, the Warriors were quite strong, actually, but I think Manly had a bit too much in the end there. But um, yeah, I'm sure Warriors will, will go back home and looking to bounce back. And it's their last home game of the year, too, so I'm sure they'll be up for this one for sure. Um, so for the Warriors and their team changes, so the only change really is that Wade Egan comes back from an elbow injury, so he starts in the hooker position with Freddie Larson going to the bench, and Chanel harris Savina goes to 18th man. Um, and for uh, the Bulldogs, they've got the same 1 through 17 team as last week, so no changes for the Doggies. Um, yeah, my tip for this game, I'll go over the Bulldogs to win. I would not be shocked if the Warriors won, though, because of SJ's last game at home, and I feel like he could have a blinder. Uh, but I don't know. I think Bulldogs, and the way they're playing, it's just so hard to see them lose many games for the rest of the year, so 
Yeah, I'll go Bulldogs to win one to 12, I only but. And first try scorer, give me Jacob Karaz. And anytime try scorers for both sides, for the Warriors, I'll go with RTS. And for the Bulldogs, I'll just go with um, Connor Tracy. On to the very next game now, the main one on the Friday too. It's between both the Broncos and the Eels at Suncorp Stadium. So yeah, look, I think we, do, we all know by now that Parramatta are in a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, look, obviously Parramatta, just, yeah, what can you say? I think they're on the same bar as Tigers at the moment in terms of how they're playing. But uh, yeah, I guess um, the only hope for the Eels is that they avoid the spirit and they just keep playing, I don't know, just keep showing up in some way, somehow. But uh yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say at this minute. As for the Broncos, uh, the Broncos obviously are, you know, within a chance of making the eight. Like, I thought after that Titans game, they were officially done. But if they win this week and they keep winning for the rest of the uh, regular season, well, finishing eighth is a possibility. So, yeah, I think the Broncos are getting quite eager to have a big game this Friday, a really big game. So, we'll see what happens. But um, as for the Broncos and both sides' uh, teams, um, they have Reese Walsh out, so obviously broken hand, right? So that means Tristan Sal is a fullback, and um, Son Cabo is also back for the Broncos too. So that means uh, Josiah Karapani is out of the team. And for the Eels, I think Kelvin Salangi starts in the back row this week, and Sean Lane goes to prop. So a bit weird, that move, but um, we'll see how it goes. But um, anyway, my tip for this game, I think Broncos will be too good. Uh, Broncos at Suncorp should be a bit too strong, you'd think, even, even without Walsh. So... I'll go Broncos to win 1-12 only, but only 1-12. Um, first try scorer, Selon Cobbo and each return. And any time try scorers of both sides for the Broncos, I'll go with uh, Tristan Saylor. And for the Eels, I'll go with Mike Acevo, who's also starting on the wing. On to the first game of, of Super Saturday. It's between both the Raiders and the Panthers at GIO Stadium in Canberra. So, uh, look, the result for the Raiders last week was just not on. Uh, I guess that sort of... Um, Ends their season, I reckon, after that loss to the Cowboys in Townsville. Um, but as for the Panthers, they obviously were unlucky to lose to the uh, Storm last uh, Thursday at Penrith. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely unlucky. But they were gutsy about Nathan Cleary, who's out yet again. So I feel bad for Cleary because he's obviously a champion player, but just, yeah, a bit injury prone this year. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how they go about him, I guess. But um, it's both teams for both sides. So for the Raiders, it seems like John Rapana's back at fullback after the concussion protocols. So that means Kyle Weggs goes to 5'8", and Adam Cook goes to 18th man. That's the most notable changes I remember. And for the Panthers, it looks like with uh, Cleary out, Jerome DeWide is to halfback, and Brad Schneider to 6, like last time. And, uh, yeah, and it uh, looks like Luke Savinson comes in a hooker for Mitch uh, uh, Kenny. Uh, in the hooker position with Mitch Kenny out uh, suspended. And uh, Liam Martin is also back for the Panthers too. Uh, look, in this game, nice and short. I think Panthers still win. I know Cleary's a big boy, but, you know, Penrith have proven before they can win without Cleary. So um, I'll go Penrith to win 1-12 only. Uh, first try scorer, give me Sunir Taruva uh, if he plays. And uh, any time try scorer is both sides. For the Raiders, I'll go with Kyle Weeks. And for Pan Panthers, Liam Martin in his return. On to the very next game now. It's between both the Storm and the Dolphins at Amy Park in Melbourne. So, yeah, look, I'll first of all start with the Dolphins and how far they've fallen. So, I don't know how the Dolphins have just gotten to how bad they're currently going because it wasn't long ago when the, when the Dolphins were right in the top four playing great footy and literally in great form. And ever since then, they've just dropped down and they've gone to a whole new low, I guess you could say. So, yeah, a bit concerning for Wayne Bennett and the Dolphins at, at the moment. So... And yeah, their top eight spots not secure either with the Dragons currently occupying eighth spot. So yeah, very interesting how the Dolphins do go for the rest of the regular season. And if they make the eight or not. As for the Storm, well, after last week's win over the Panthers, you can definitely say that they're guaranteed uh, minor premiership now because um, they're four points clear of the Panthers. And yeah, that I think that sort of... Sort of uh, so I find their spot in the top of, of the ladder because, yeah, I can't see Storm dropping much more games now. So, um, yeah, Storm first, and uh, they are your 2024 minor premieres. Um, so, yeah, look, obviously for the, uh, the Storm, it seems like Tyron Wishart has gone to the wing for Grant Anderson, who's out with concussion. So that's what the change is there. Um, and Sua Falongo goes to the bench as well with Christian Welch named in the extended bench. Um, and the Dolphins have a couple of changes too, I think. Uh, around the forward pack, but uh, yeah, look, it's obviously going to be a tough task, tough task for the Dolphins, no matter what. And uh, yeah, look, I can't really see them doing the impossible on um, Saturday night. So, Storm to win 13 plus. 
I go over the Storm to win, yeah, 13 plus. So scoreline 36 to 18. First try scorer, give me Will Warbrick. And anytime try scorers uh, for the Storm, I'll go with Sean Bloor in the back row. And for the Dolphins, I'll go with uh, Hammer. He's due this week. On to the very next game now. It's the Rabbitohs versus Knights at a core stadium. So uh, this does wrap up Super Saturday and not really a game I'm too keen for because both sides' seasons are both um, over. But I think one thing for both sides that they have to be positive about is that they can definitely avoid the spoon. None of them are going to get the spoon. So, but yeah, like I think playing for pride and just playing for a good rest of the season, just trying to win for their fans will be the main thing for them. Um, because obviously after that loss for the Knights last week at Shark Park, losing 19 points to 18 to the Sharks, yeah, look, I think that ended their season ultimately, so that would hurt them a lot, but they were very close, and their effort was um, definitely um, something you cannot question. And as for the Rabbitohs, well, the Rabbitohs were, yeah, I mean, they should have been Tigers, but Tigers just, yeah, held on just, but Tigers and South both weren't that great. So it was one of those games where it just really didn't matter in the end, but... Yeah, South should have won the team they had compared to them. But um, anyway, uh, both teams for both sides. So for the Rabbitohs, Cody Walker's out this weekend with concussion protocols. So that means at halfback is Dean Hawkins um, at halfback. Um, and then in the extended reserves, um, you've got Michael Cheekham and Tyrone Munro who do knee returns very soon. As for the Knights, Dylan Lucas is back in the team. Um, with Cole McCarthy dropping out of the team after making his debut last weekend. And, uh, yeah, also for the Knights, Jack Colger goes to 5 eight for Tyson Gamble out with a broken hand, and Will Price also joins the bench too. Uh, yeah, look, my tip for this game, I think the Knights will win. Knights 1-12, first try scorer, give me uh, Di Gray, and any time try scorers for both sides. For the Rabbitohs, I'll go with um, Richie Kenner, and for the Knights, I'll go with KP for a double. On to the last game of Super Sunday. It's between both the Rabbitohs and the Knights at a course stadium. So, yeah, this game, obviously, I don't think means much for either side because I think Rabbitohs are already out for good and for the like, top eight contention. Um, and for the Knights, just about the same after that loss to the Sharks and goal on point last week, which was, an, which was an absolute heartbreaker for the Knights. So, uh, yeah, I think both sides have kind of nothing to play for. So, yeah, we'll see how this game goes. And, uh, yeah, both sides obviously trying their best at the moment, but not getting the results. As for the Knights and their team for this game, so for the Knights, it looks like Jack Cogger's gone to 5'8", for Tyson Gamble out with a broken hand. So that means, uh, um, yeah, Cogger the 5'8", uh, Will Price to the bench, and uh, Dylan Lucas is also uh, back in the team with uh, Kyle McCarthy out after, after making his debut last week. And for the Rabbitohs, it looks like uh, for them, Cody Walker's out. So with suspensions, so that means Dean Hawkins goes to halfback, uh, partnering um, partnering Dion Tiapa. And uh, yeah, the South team, I think, has mostly 1 through 17. And Michael Cheekham and uh, Tyrone Amaro in the extended bench. Uh, look, my tip for this game, I think the Knights will be a bit too strong. I think Seahs have a, are a good chance of winning, but I don't know. I think Knights might have just a bit more. But seriously, it's, it's one of those games where you can get a coin and flip it, and then that's your result. But I'll tip Knights. Knights win 1 to 12. First try scorer, uh, Dylan Lucas in his return. And any time a try scorers for the Rabbitohs, I'll go with um, Jai Gray. And for the Knights, I'll go with uh, Phoenix Crossland. On to the very last game of Sunday. It's between both the Dragons and the Sharks at Wind Stadium uh, there in Wollongong. So obviously the Dragons were too strong for the Titans last weekend, winning uh, 32 points to 16. And for the Sharks, they won in a goal point thriller over the Knights at Shark Park, winning 19 points to 18. So, um, yeah, it should be another crack of a game. If Sharks lose, well, top four is definitely well and truly open for those other clubs that are competing for a top four spot. If they win, then I think top four is looking pretty likely for them. So it's a big game for the Sharks. As for the Dragons, well, depending on how Dolphins go this Saturday against the Storm, if, um, what's it called, if the Dragons win, then, yeah, they definitely look more likely than making the eight than the Dolphins. So, yeah, as I said, big game of both sides this one. Uh, in this game, but I'll go with the upset, you know. I don't tip Dragons too often, but I'll tip the Dragons to win this game. I, I have a feeling Dragons will, will win in Wollongong. And their record at, uh, at home is quite good as well. So I reckon the Dragons will win, actually. Dragons 5-12. First try scorer, give me Zach Lomax. And any time try scorers for both sides, I'll go with Christian Tuipolotu and for the Sharks, Sione Katoa. But that there is my round 25 NRL tips for this weekend. So I hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to like this video and to subscribe if you haven't already. And do comment your tips in the comments down below and tell me who you're backing this weekend. But overall, I hope you have a good weekend and uh, go manly.
Thank you.